Hello there, Ray here, and today I'm going to show you a discovery that I made which allows you to be able to get signal strengths with redstone over 15 in vanilla survival, as well as a music disc duplicating bug. Normally the highest you can get is a signal strength of 15 coming out of this comparator. So this comparator has 15 signal strength behind them, and we're subtracting it from the redstone block which is on the side, which is also 15, and this would always produce a zero. But it is possible in survival to actually get signal strengths that are so strong that they can exceed all these redstone blocks and still put off a fairly decent redstone signal afterwards. Now this was first came about when Hyper showed me these uh, command blocks that are over here in the shulker box. And these are command blocks that he got from a redstone server which all have really super high signal strength. These are made by using NBT Explorer and glitched into the game and brought over into the game uh, into multiplayer servers by using the save toolbars. So pretty much what these command blocks allow you to do is have extremely high signal strength. So this command block here is putting off a signal strength into this comparator and we can use a command. So if we use a command called block data for this block here, and for the curly brackets, we can see that the output is a signal strength of 2.14 billion, when normally it would only be 15. So by using these blocks, you can get extremely high signal strength, although all the redstone that comes out of it will only start at 15, no matter how strong it is back here. So the only way that you can see this is by using the subtraction mode and keep subtracting 15 away from it, and eventually you'll get down so that it's low amount so you can actually see it. Hyper said that the mods on the server were using this to make computers as well as the like adders. And this one in this redstone block is the highest one, which I showed you, which is a 2.14 billion signal strength. And then they slowly go downwards in increments. Eventually they go down to a power strength of just one. You can see all the different ones in here, and they just slowly increment upwards as well. And what they are is if you pull one of these out and place it down, it is a furnace that has really high stacks amount of um, items inside their slots. And by using these, you can get different signal strengths coming out the back. And like this one here has a signal strength of one. And this one is like completely much higher than what you normally get. After seeing these glitch containers that allow you to get high signal strength, I thought, wow, this guy should be done in survival. Now, if you guys remember, I showed a video where you can get item stacks that normally only stack up to one. You can get them to stack much higher. And here I have a chest full of diamond pieces that are all stacked up to 64. And by using this with a comparator, we can now get really high signal strength. So if I come over here to this comparator here, and if I pull up the data on this comparator, we can see that it produces a power state of 897 with all these armor pieces inside of it. This means it's possible in survival to actually get these super high signal strengths, such as here where I got a bunch of comparators, they're all being subtracted from the side, and they're still putting off a large signal strength. And this is only with a single stack of armor pieces in there. If you'd fill this whole thing up, it would take a lot of comparators all in subtraction mode to finally get it all the way down to zero. So to get these stackable non-stackable items, you would have to be in versions 1.12.0 for to you to pull this off. You could do it in past versions by using other glitches. I'll just go ahead and show you how this is done. So we just go ahead and we're going to drop one unstackable item and then we're going to spam click this crafting table and then what happens is that some of the crafting tables get converted over into this unstackable item but then they become stacked up. Here we got a stack of 65 music discs and you can do this on any non-stackable item in the game to get more of them and then all you have to do is place those into these chests here and this will give you the super high signal strength. I discovered this up on our Twitch stream, which was a lot of fun, and we messed around with this and went ahead and also tested this for some other type of containers. So we tested the droppers, we tested a chest, we even filled up like your minecart chest and hoppers. Here is the furnace. We filled this up with lava buckets as well as a piece that could be smelted, and we even put some in the off side here. Now, all the containers typically would produce 897 signal strength. And this is kind of um, expected because normally they would only produce 15 at most. That's if the container was full, but something like the furnace where we could not get the overstacked items over on the offside here because they had to go first through the smelting to get it over there. So we can only get a signal strength of 603 with that one. Now we try to do brewing sands where we would try to shift click a stack of potions into this and we tried it and the potions did not go in there even if they were stacked they just put in there one and the only thing you can stick in this top slot here is the item that can already be put into the brewing stand for brewing 
And so we just put some redstone dust here. And the only thing that can go here is blaze butter. So we actually ended up not having any difference for uh, the brewing stand because we could not get anything higher than what the normal signal strength was. Then we tried other containers such as the hoppers, which produce the same type of signal strength. And we also, someone asked on stream if a triple chest, such as this one here, where you have a chest beside a chest, we put off a different type of signal strength as normal. And no, it just reads this one chest here and not the other one. Kind of funny about these triple chests is that you can walk right through here. There's actually no block here at all, which is strange, just visual. The cool thing about these triple chests is that they're actually possible to get in survival. I actually came across them once and I mentioned this to Meganex as well as Ed Example, the Protech members. And Ed Example actually found a way to replicate this in a survival world to get a triple chest like this. So I definitely highly recommend checking out his video, which I will link down in the description. And someone on stream also asked if it's possible to use beacons with uh, comparators. And if I just stick a piece into this beacon here, although you can stick something in here, it doesn't actually have a container to hold that and it doesn't actually put off a signal strength either with a comparator. Now one of the coolest things that we did discover was with uh, jukeboxes. They don't also have a GUI to hold stuff in them, but they do have some really weird properties as we discovered on stream. So if I just hop over into survival mode and I push, try to put 61 music disc in here, you see it only take one of them and it'll start playing music. But when you try to make, I'll try to remove the disc by right clicking on the jukebox again, you see a whole bunch of music discs come out of it. And if I pick them up, you'll see there is a stack of 61. So pretty much whatever you put into it. So if I just put the stack of 61 and click on it again, you see that I get a stack of 61 again. <laughs> so this means the jukebox is actually a disc duplicator. If you have a stack of discs that are higher than one, and that's pretty crazy. You can just keep doing this and just keep making more and more uh, music disc. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think you can do with this overpowered signal strength? Especially you guys that make computers as well as calculators. I think this could compact the size of some more larger size computers. A redstone signal of over 800 in vanilla survival. So thank you guys for watching. And if you found this interesting, show me with a like and share this with others. If you'd like to see more content like this with glitches and other weird behavior in vanilla survival, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button. And tell me what you guys think about this down in the comments. Bye-bye.